Like the Fatty McButter pants or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Yo. I don't know if you remember me, but we used to ride together. Yeah. Damn, I got beard envy. Oh, I know. Do you really? Yeah, I do. And right after I got done with that, two very nice things happened to me. Two eggs over easy. Bacon with extra bacon. <laughs> Superman's cape. <laughs> I just washed it off. Now Mike's rubbing his wing. <laughs> I guess if we get another turd floater, y'all might need you to, I don't know. Yeah. It's hungry this morning. This morning it's 12.30. Yeah. <laughs> my thirsty wanted whiskey. My hungry needed beans. Yeah, honey, I'm the bogey biker. And you know I'm here to stay. We got another four and a half inches overnight. And I heard the road's washed out. Let's see. Holy mackerel. I don't know if you can see how big that pin horn of culvert is, but that's probably eight foot. Oh, I just washed it out. Said I never wish away the rain, but so we're gonna try the ride. I don't know what's coming. a video a couple weeks ago when me and when my wife went riding and I'll put that here somewhere um, this is where we were we were standing right there go back and watch that video and compare it to what it looks like now jeez Hanging on. I can't stand too many more of these, though. I can tell you that. Is it really? Oh yeah, it's full of water and sprinklers going off. And clean out full. I don't know if you remember me, but we used to ride together. Yeah, yeah Mike Westerman. <laughs> Mike, oh, yeah. Good to meet you. He's president of the group. <laughs> That's what I've been Man, told. He, I didn't uh, think he was going to come. I didn't. This is, I was going to say this is perfect weather There's for you. There's nothing else to do. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I you see that eight or ten? It's an eight or ten foot culvert on Cable yeah, Wagon Trail. That's some it. bitches push. And it's fifty foot long gone. Yeah, it pushed it forty feet. I didn't go down there and look at that. I came out your road out there a while ago and, and I saw the uh, county had it barricaded. You know, yeah. I thought well, it must be washed out down there somewhere. But yeah. I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah. Damn, I got beard envy. Oh, I know. Do you really? Yeah, I do. Hey, Is this the uh, tree tree trimming uh, crew? Oh, oh, yeah, there's a cafe up here on the right. That's where we did a rooster run. Like the Fatty McButter pants or something like that. Yeah. You want me to leave? We're closed, so we're gonna adapt and overcome. Try another place. I'm just too damn clumsy for two weeks. Yeah, I understand. I have to have a cock or something. Yeah. <laughs> 
sign just says cafe. Do we know what this is called? Just cafe? I, I don't know what it's called. Hi guys, how are y'all? Good, how are you? Welcome into this cafe. How many? Five. 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 Oh, sorry, the sun's in my face. Follow me, guys. Oh, I did drop Thank you. Oh, yeah. With the pancake? No, I had Oh, that was this gentleman here. Uh, he had toast yeah. and a pancake. Yeah. And you had over easy as well, bacon? Yep. Okay. Jason, tell us what you got, because it was interesting. I got two eggs over easy, bacon with extra bacon, hash browns, toast, a pancake, and I was asking for a waffle, but they didn't. <laughs> Just give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Wait, wait. I worry what you just heard was, give me a lot of bacon and eggs. What I said was, give me all the bacon and eggs you have. Do you understand? I'm hungry this morning. This morning it's 12.30. Yeah. <laughs> just right for breakfast. I got lunch. Did you get lunch? Yeah. <laughs> you eat one meal a day, you better make it a good one. Yep. Did you fried steak right here? Mm hmm I'll get this out of your way. No, I'm good. Right here, sir. Everybody good the way it is? Yeah. All right. Just, just a light meal and we'll be on our way. <laughs> In case y'all forgotten, Mac loves pie. Pie's pie good. What is that? <laughs> Coconut cream. <laughs> get this in slow mo. <laughs> Pretty good, y'all need to try that. and the bars came loose. I bet that's a fun feeling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least it didn't end up in your lap. Oh, there you go. Just lift up a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so. You have to oh. pull your ignition? No. It's that one right, right there. It's these, it's these two right, right here. here. Uh, shouldn't have to. Yeah. You know, right. Too many pancakes didn't sit well with the beer. We go back to Jay's shop and fix those handlebars right.
much. Yeah. What are you doing? Me and Mike and Gerald are going to sit here and watch Jay and Jason work. Yeah, yeah. Mike's rubbing his wings. <laughs> You'll take that top one off on each side and loosen the bottom one. Yeah, lay it down. There's going to be too much weight in there. Because they play all the time. Oh, really? I'd like to know if we had a bogey biker rally and had a concert featuring these two. Yo. How many of y'all would come? Just have a weekend jam session. Jam session. So let me know. I guess if we get another turd floater, y'all might need you to, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, made it back to the shop. We beat the rain. We only got four and a half inches last night, so we could use a little. I think we're pushing 30 inches of rain this year so far. So today's song is, since we beat the rain, today's song is To Beat the Devil by Chris Christofferson. I'll put that right here. And also I'll put a link down in the description. I know a lot of you know who Chris Christofferson is. Probably my favorite line in that song is, my thirsty wanted whiskey, my hungry needed beans. So check out To Beat the Devil by Chris Christofferson and let me know what you think. Can y'all hear those frogs? They're loud. So I already filmed the ending to this video. And right after I got done with that, two very nice things happened to me. And I just could not include them as a part of this video. So the first nice thing that happened to me was I got a notification from YouTube that Kraken's Garage had mentioned me in his latest video. So I go check that out, and here it is. You know what time it is. This week's shout out goes to Bogey Biker. Jack has 1,560 subs. He has 105 videos out. He's rocking a 2021 Road Glide Limited, and I believe he also has a Road King as well. Jack is a down-to-earth person. This guy is just salt of, her, salt of the earth, and uh, he has his whole family in his videos, he has his friends in his videos, and you're just looking at, it's like having an old friend over watching his videos. Uh, he did a very interesting video on what he's accomplished and what he's learned in YouTube over the last year. You know, the 10 things that he learned from doing YouTube. I will say this to him, you have accomplished a lot more than almost every moto vlogger out there that's doing moto content in one year with the number of subs and videos that you have put out. You're doing a fine job. It needs to grow organically and you're doing that. I hope people go over and check out his content to see if you're interested in it. If you are, uh, give him a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, please let him know that Kraken sent you. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? What a nice thing to do. And he mentions other channels quite often as a way to try to show them support. I mean, he's taking time out of his life and of his YouTube channel to mention me. And I'm just very grateful and, and humbled by that. And so, Eric at Kraken's Garage, thank you. And I hope to do this in person one day. The second nice thing was I opened my mail and I have a gift from Warren, AKA Mr. Wang. Let me show you what it is. So you can tell what it is. It's Superman's cape. <laughs> Sucker weighs five pounds. It is like a really nice cape. And most of you know what that reference is, but the, in the last video, I mentioned the song, The Cape by Guy Clark. But the best part of the gift was the note that came along with it. There's always trust your cape. This is for the guy who decided to ride a motorcycle, start a YouTube channel, plan a Sturgis ride, hold down a job, and still make your family your priority. Warren. Wow, that's a, uh, it's a very nice thing to do. So we're gonna pay it forward. So I'd like you to go check out Motor Ramblings. 
Patrick might be the nicest guy on YouTube. He's at 950 subscribers, I think. And he doesn't do this for fame and fortune or to get as many subscribers as he can. He's been doing this for five or six years. Uh, he just does it for the pure enjoyment. And he's just the nicest guy. The thousand subscriber mark is a big deal. So if we could help him out with that, man, I'd be grateful. So if you're so inclined, go check out Motor Ramblings. I'll put it here and I'll link his channel in the description below also. Tell him Bogey Biker sent you. I'd love to help the guy out. And uh, he rides a Suzuki V-Strom and a Honda Goldwing. A Wang, we like to call it around here. So, and he just, he rides and talks about what's on his mind. It's uh, refreshing to watch. So thank y'all for watching. It's been a great day here. I hope it has for you as well. We'll see you next time and don't forget to always trust your cape. All right, bring it on. Ah, uh, you better. <laughs> you better go, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey, I'm the bogey biker. And you know I'm here to stay.